Hi, I'm Alec, a sales engineer here at Pixelate. I'm based out of San Jose, California. I've been working at the company for four years, and today we're going to be taking a deeper look into the media ratings terminal, specifically the discovery module for mobile apps. Before we jump into the tool itself, it's good to focus on a few features when it comes to the media ratings terminal. This data is based on Pixelate's global pool and is then aggregated to form different observations at certain layers such as risk, performance metrics, as, such as invalid traffic or viewability, and other areas such as compliance, privacy, brand safety, and more. Throughout this video, we'll go through the tool itself and certain use cases such as navigating the MRT discovery module, inclusion or exclusion lists, looking at uh, seller and publisher uh, level data, and looking at developer information. You can also look at uh, certain blocklisted or delisted apps, and we'll also look at preset filters as well. As we get to the dashboard, we'll go over the Seller Trust Index, which is a great starting point as you make your way to the discovery module. This acts as a ranking system that Pixlate has created based on a unique set of criteria and acts as a great way for accessing new supply or assessing currency. Now we can jump into the dashboard itself and go over some categorical breakouts. As you can see on the left-hand side, there's a number of different categorical breakouts that you can leverage to further refine your results. There's a number of helpful preset reports. Uh, many of these can be tied to exclusionary lists, but also just act as a nice starting point before creating your own list with applied filters. Some of these areas would include high IVT, areas of compliance, such as no privacy policy, and uh, no programmatic ads as well. So as we get into creating an actual exclusion or inclusion list, there are many different areas to leverage, obviously a lot of information, but if you have specific measurement or dimensions or metrics in mind, you can always type that in as well. So let's say you want to focus on IVT, you can uh, set that for zero to 10%. We can also apply viewability with 70% and above. We can apply brand safety and put a low risk there. Um, also applying things such as app ads at TXT for compliance purposes can further do the less down. Adding in privacy policy can also be used to bring the list to more granular fashion. If you're concerned with overall risk, Pixelate has a general category that looks at a number of different metrics and dimensions in the data pool to then assign a low, medium, or high category. Once you've decided on the number of dimensions of filters you want to apply, you can then download your list for further assessment or prioritizing, ranking, scoring the apps themselves. You can see that there's a number of different columns assigned to the information that was presented in the UI. If you're interested on a given seller or publisher, this is also a helpful tool for that. You can look by developer names and even get contact information as mentioned before. From here, if you wanna to decide to work with some supply or a very small subset, you can apply for their filters as well. A very helpful detail in terms of whether an app exists in its respective store. This can be a great preset for a single report and it lets you know if an app has been delisted and when. You can look at a list view and add in further dimensions as needed by looking at the app details. You can also see if an app has been placed on one of Pixelate's data feeds. This can arise for a number of different reasons, again, based on the aggregated data pool. Once you've decided the filters you, you'd like to assess on, you can save this as a preset report and have your team go in and use at any frequency that you desire. In future videos, we'll go into more detail on how to leverage discovery for domains and CTV apps. We'll also go into greater detail on mobile app insights. With Pixelate's Meteor Eggs Terminal, you can create and scale inventory that meets your performance and business needs. If you'd like to learn more, please contact your dedicated sales representative today. Thank you.